Welcome to another Selfish OS podcast and as many of you asked about a speed comparison test between the Moto X second generation and the Xperia X running both Selfish OS, the latest version, I thought, yeah, I will do this. So let's go into action and let's open up the various applications that we want to open up to do a speed comparison test. First of all, let's open up AIDA64. Should be a system app here. And one, two, three. As you can see here, basically on the same time. Let's go to system to see the various models again. As you can see here, the one is running the um, Snapdragon 801 chip and this is running the Snapdragon 650 chip and as you can see from the numbers this should be from the numbers a little bit faster in theory but you can see this has 2 gigabytes of RAM this has 3 gigabytes of RAM LP DDR3 and you can see also we have internal storage we have external storage and we have only internal storage on the Moto X uh, let's go to the CPU tag to see more. As you can see here, six cores, four of them running all the time. And here we have four cores only, also uh, very intelligently running only when needed. And we have uh, two cores that are basically all the time <laughs> asleep on the Xperia X and both running the interactive CPU scaler. And as you can see here, this is ARM. Uh, ABI V7 and this is V8 so this is running the 64-bit kernel and this is running a 32-bit kernel so that's about this I think maybe Safish version is still interested if you're interested in the Safish version you can see 21414 this is running you know, 3.4 kernel and this 3.10 kernel both running on Wayland of course and this is running the Android HAL 601 Marshmallow and this is well, so for the driver thingies, those are um, pretty much on par. So let's open up another application, just like for example the default browser, Safish browser, one, two, three. Not sure which pages they will load now, different pages, but as you can see here, also almost uh, on the same time. Let's open up the file manager file case in this case one two three and the Xperia X a little bit quicker here let's open up the music application where do we have this one two three and as you can see here Xperia X a little bit faster in loading the application itself but of course as I have my micro SD card inserted here it takes a little bit longer to uh, show all the titles. As you can see, I have uh, 2,000 over 2,000 titles, and here I have only 107 titles. So this is quicker in loading those titles. Then go to the next one, which will be the gallery. One, two, three. And as you can see here, pretty much on par. Uh, let's open up the next one, which will be the Twitter client. Twitter, no. Uh, Peepmats in this case, I think. I've installed them both. One, two, three. And as you can see here, a little bit faster on the Xperia X again. Here, I think it's asking stuff. Doesn't matter. So, a little bit faster on the Xperia X. Let's go and open up the Mastodon client. Mastodon Tutor in this case, one, two, three. And a little bit quicker on the Xperia X again, not only the UI but also the internet connection. And let's open up the next one which will be the Reddit client. Quicked it, one, two, three. And you can see the Xperia X also leads here by small margin only. So as you can see, both can handle multitasking with ease. 
Uh, let's open up gpodder, the podcasting client. One, two, three. And again, the Xperia X a little bit quicker in opening up this application. And the last application I think I will want to open is the 9GAC client, GAC book. You're in the fun, and here's somewhere else. One, two, three. And again, the Xperia X a little bit faster than the Moto X2. Now, when it comes to multitasking, you see no problem. I can open up the battery lock application. I can open up AIDA 64. All are running fine in the background without any problem, as you can see here. Uh, no reloading, no refreshing or something like this. Shouldn't be an issue, uh, even with three gigabytes of RAM and two gigabytes of RAM. You can see they're pretty much on par. Uh, basically, we have to open up more applications uh, for the own killer uh, to kill tasks here. Uh, what you can see here is it's easier for me to swipe from left to right uh, on the uh, Moto X because the the uh, bezel is a little bit bigger here. On the sides and it's a little bit I think the roundness both are have the same rounded corners so 2.5 D glass on, on uh, both of them but as the borders around the display are so thin on the Xperia X you can see that uh, especially if I'm using my finger my, my, my index fingers here have slightly problems in swiping away uh, on the Xperia X, but this, if I have both in the hands uh, and I'm using my thumb to swipe stuff away, you can see works without any problem. So this is basically the speed comparison test between the Moto X second generation and Xperia X. As you can see here, slightly faster the Xperia X, but all in all, I think they are pretty much on par. And as you can see here, in, in terms of multitasking, the one gigabyte more of RAM is not very important uh, when you open up this uh, much applications. Um, if you open up more applications, task intensive application, memory intensive applications, lots and lots of web pages, for example, then you might see a slight improved uh, handling of memory on the Xperia X uh, due to the more memory available. Yeah, this is everything for this little uh, speed comparison test between the Moto X second generation and the Xperia X. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and give it a like, subscribe, and uh, until the next time, see you.